Hello and welcome to another video. If you're new around here, my name is, is the Diamond Bullet, and today I am looking at three more car brands. So, Range Rover won by. Um, let's actually let 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 let's take a look at the poll, then shall we? Um, what car? Total votes six. So, as you can see. 411 to Range Rover. So Range Rover will still be rolled over onto um, the next roll poll. If you don't know what the Range Rover is, go back, take a look. Actually, don't need to do that. Um, I should have probably had this open anyway. So I've made some changes to the Range Rover actually. Um, so I'm going to press OK. Uh, okay, so I've made some changes. As you can see, the car is now matte blue to match my channel colors. And if I was to get the car wrapped, that's the color. Visual packs then. Um, it's got the black um, accents, it's got the black wheels. It looks amazing. The headlights, um, got pixel laser LRD headlights with signature DRL, glass, I've gone to get some privacy glass, um, just because it looks better. Okay, so the wheels, they are 22 inch style 90129 split spoke gloss black, they look really good. The roof then, um, we're not having any additions considering the fact that obviously got the panoramic roof. The interior then, um, this one a lot of people don't agree with. Um, we're going for a nice red um, as it kind of matches the blue and the channel colours. Um, I've got a nice veneer here. I've got red paddles for when I want to do manual because this car is semi-automatic and a hybrid. So. Yeah, headlining headlining is um, black because black looks the best in my opinion with this style of interior. Um, finishes then, obviously we've got the figured uh, Mascar Makassar veneer which matches the red, it goes with the black, we've got a lot of things there. Thing wheels I haven't changed. Um, audio, gotta have the best. The uh, Meriden signature sound system. Um, I don't know what the changes are. Um, hopefully they're good. So for the options then, um, it doesn't have the towing pack and it doesn't have the personal customer handover experience because I don't know what that is, and because I legally can't tow a vehicle. Um, it's got a spare wheel, um, just in case, can never be too safe. Here we've got the cabin air ionis ionization with PMF, uh, PM 2.5 filter. Fi filter. Yeah, I don't know what that means. And it's also got a domestic plug socket, so not everything has to be charged with um, USB. The infotainment center then um, just has a heads up display, which in my opinion looks really nice. In terms of driver assistance, we've got weight sensing, so it tells you when you're too deep um, and it tells you the depth of the water you're currently driving in, which is really cool. Um, towing, got nothing, because, well, I can't tow. Um, but for legal reasons, I've got the first aid kit, and for safety reasons, I've got the tracker, um, because if it gets stolen, I can track it. And then convenience, then. Um, the activity key, I don't know what it does, but I don't have a garage. Also, the front center console is our fridge. Um, so, Land Rover accessories then. And we've got the wireless phone charging cup holder um, and deployable side steps. Um, those the, those side steps are kind of needed. I've got nothing in the load space because apart from the security box for holidays, we've got somewhere secure for passports, to put money, that kind of stuff. And towing accessories, nothing. Once again, because I can't tow things. Um, then we've got front mud flaps with deployable steps, obviously, and rear mud flaps, just in case I want to do some off-roading. You never know. 
um, on this part then we don't have any of those obviously we already have this so I don't need to add it again don't want an illuminated thread plate because I think that's too uh, two up there and obviously aluminium red gear shift pedals um, I was gonna have this but obviously the seats um, being massaging and stuff it would remove that nothing for carrying equipment because realistically I, I, I don't want to and this is just lazy um, so safety accessories then um, legally I need a warning triangle so I had to put it in um, the toe strap that's not really a legal requirement but it's just beneficial and obviously a fire extinguisher is another legal requirement to travel anywhere around Europe I believe um, as well as obviously I have his vests wheel accessories got none of these and um, as a total that's £2,599.85 per month or uh, £144,303 on the road so we are going back to Ford and this is because Nick and I looked into a Ford now it's not a Ford that I believe I can get insured on at the moment but you never know also as it's been released in the summer I will be 21 um, in the summer so I might be able to get it then so for this one it might be a bit delayed for most of these it might be a bit delayed to be honest and that is the Ford Mustang Mach E and the electric Mustang SUV which in my opinion looks really nice I've seen it on YouTube um, because Nick and I was going through it earlier and I got what the opinions for the best options were from that and the best option was to go for the all-wheel drive version which is slightly more expensive um, than the normal version but um, it can go a lot further um, and it's got look, look range 273 range 248 what this one has a more powerful battery this doesn't do 273 and um, as somebody pointed out but I I'm going for this one um, because it's got all-wheel drive um, yeah that's the only reason then I go for the extended range um, because where I live we don't have any charging port at charging areas and we can't have one fitted um, so we I'm gonna go for the extended range just to prevent obviously breaking down now the reason I want this car a lot of people like myself do not like electric cars I have said it many times I do not like electric cars however it's a Mustang <laughs> okay it, lo it looks really nice um, which is unusual for me to say about an electric car and I can do so much more with this than I can the Range Rover and what I mean by this is um, this car um, I can experiment with so many different things kinda like how Jack Sooks Alive does with his Tesla I can do that with this Mustang granted he's getting a Tesla again He's getting obviously the 2021 um, so it would be the best way to compare the two I watch his videos I do admit I do like his Tesla I don't like it as well there are obviously many flaws with Tesla's um, and I just didn't like Tesla when they came out so as he does his videos I will do mine on similar subjects um, that's if I was to get this one that's if this one gets voted um, so he, if say he does one on how to get into the car um, I'll do one on how to get into the car there's so many different things and with this car it comes with a key fob and you do not need the key fob because you can download an app on your phone which allows you to do everything to your car it allows you to get in it allows you to start your engine and it doesn't have handles it's got a button here which uh, makes it uh, makes the door open and a handle there to pull on Th then you've got this back door which has another button and it's got like a rubber grip inside the door in order to open it and I think that's a really cool idea 
could be better on the rear doors. Um, but I think that's a really cool idea. It's also got a keypad, so you can actually have a pin coded lock if you wish, um, which is also another obviously security feature. This also comes with all the charging cables in the boot. So for security, um, this car is very secure. Um, and this big square is the um, charging port. Obviously Teslas are on the back. Um, you get the Nissan Leaf where they're on the front. This is just a big inconvenience. That that's the worst part I think about this car. Is it's there. And obviously it's a Mustang. I like Mustangs. Um, I would dream to own a Mustang. Um, if I can get insured on this. As soon as I can get insured on this. I'm going to buy one. If it doesn't get voted this time then I won't buy it this time. Remember these votes determine which car I'm going to buy. And which car is going to be my first car. So I would like to say a Mustang was my first car. Even if it's an electric one. Um, I'm fine with that unfortunately. And um, this car is actually a really nice looking electric car. And that's not something I say a lot. Um, I like it. I like it in red. That's why I instantly went and put it in red. Red is the colour I put it in earlier. Um, when I was looking through them. Because honestly the rest of them don't really look good. Carbonized grey. Um, it's grey. You got white. I don't think white draws too much attention to it. The infinite blue. Isn't blue. We've got space white. You've got iconic silver because everyone wants silver cars these days. And of course, you've got absolute black. And honestly, it doesn't look bad in black. I just think it looks a lot better in red. Now, the interior time. Um currently there are only there is only one option for the interior and um that is a uh, black with the red leather or the black leather with the red um, stitching which honestly does look really nice if I was to say so myself the only issue I've got with it um, where the Tesla prevails massively is the screen the screen on this one is obviously portrait on Tesla's a landscape I think you could get a lot more use out of a landscape version um, but it is what it is. This screen is really cool. You can't interact with it. It's like a speedometer. It's a really cool feature. And obviously here we've got the. Um, it is automatic. Um, I think. Um, I'm not sure. I haven't read into it. But it does have. Obviously the automatic gears there. If it was semi-automatic. That's something I'll check out when I buy it. Um. But if it is automatic, that's not a problem. Um, on the roof then it looks like there's some lights, there's a uh, sunglasses holder, um, obviously a uh, glass roof which looks really nice. And uh, all in all, this car looks really, really nice. Obviously going for that, now going to the extras. Okay, so the extras currently um, are very minimal, obviously this could all change and um, there's so much and um, that can be done um, in terms of for the future I don't know what it's going to be yet so for finance um, this car total is for £58,180 going for the I was doing 4000 wasn't I Let's do 2,000 and um, 12,000 miles because I'm going to do around 10,000 miles. It's going to be 997 pounds 71 pence per month, which is really cheap considering the fact that it's a Mustang. Um, I'm not sure about insurance yet. I still have to wait until a version has come out with a with a number plate to calculate whether or not I can get insured on one. Um, Currently though, I can get in insured on some Teslas, not all. So it might be the case with this. I might have to go do some calling around, seeing if I can get insurance on it for maybe a slightly higher price than normal. 
and um, just getting it in. That's the only issue I've got with that. Now I haven't looked at Mercedes or Volkswagen. These are my next two. Now I um, can't get a van or a G-Wagon. A G-Wagon would be nice. But I think my option would be either the GLE or the GLS. Um, so I'm going to check the GLS because it looks bigger. Um, I think if I read it correctly, the Mustang also has seven seats, um, which is really, really nice. Um, configurator. Let's make my personal. Um, I'm... Uh, I'm not going to do anything. So the basic model is eight, eighty thousand pounds. Um, set CO two limit. I don't know. Fuel tap. I think a diesel. Um, a nine G Tronic. Go to colors. We've got black. We have red, which looks like orange. Another black. Oh, silver. I don't want a silver car. Um. Ooh. Brilliant blue. That doesn't look too bad. I don't want a green car. I'm sorry, even if it is, I'm going to keep it as blue for now. Um, onto the rims. Uh, except. So what's the model then? Is it a petrol? is a super I have no idea oh that's electric interior uh, black can't really change that trims I don't know. I don't really like this. The way the Mercedes is done. It doesn't look good. So I'm going to keep away from Mercedes. For this run. Now we're going to take a look into. Um, Volkswagen. I can't remember if I did Volkswagen last time. Um, new models and configurator. Configure my Volkswagen. Now, Volkswagen is a very, very, um, very reliable car. Um, and I've been in Touareg. The fuck is this? The T Rock Cabriolet. I'll, I'll configure a Touareg, considering the fact that I've been in one. They are really, really comfortable. Um, V6s. I'll go for the black edition. Now, once again, I'm not sure how insurance is going to work on this car. Um, simply because it's a V8. So, summary. Colors. Okay, let's see. Aquamarine. That sounds like a dope colour. Ooh. Malbec red. Ooh. I'm going to have it as that. I like that. Little wheels. I like the black wheels. Next. <laughs> um, ambient light. Ambient lighting. Let's have a look. 
uh, scuff plates in door apertures with additional lights could do with more lights um fuel tank 90 liters 90 liter fuel tank sure no because i don't have a garage um heated front and rear seats i would need that I would especially need that, especially from transporting kids. Rear side windows. A manual though. Air suspension with rear axle steering. Uh, no. What's this? What does this include? Adaptive cruise control. Three point seat belts in front with manual height adjustment. Front cross traffic assist, lane assist, traffic jam assist, and emergency assist. Proactive occupant protection using front assist monitoring system. Side scan, traffic jam assist. I think that that would be necessary. This. This. I don't know what night vision is. But it sounds pretty dope. And I don't need to put on side assist because it comes in the driver assistance pack. Professional chassis pack. Let's have a look. DCC including driving profile selection with even settings, eco, comfort, normal, sport, individual, off-road and snow. That's a lot of options. 48 volt electric system. That's dope. Active roll stabilization. That's good because if you're rolling it stabilizes itself by the sounds of things. All wheel steering with rear axles. I don't like the idea of that, but I'll give it a go. Um, da, 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 da. Oh, yeah. Exterior laminated safety glass. Um, okay. The off road pack. What does that give me? Let's see. Um, fuel tank 90 liters, additional front underbody guard. That would be useful. I would love to do some off-roading in any of these cars. Um, buy them out. Tow bar, no. Uh, yeah, let's remove that because it adds it anyway. Um, In-car entertainment. I don't need smokers. Din audio consequence sound pack including 14 speakers plus a woofer. 730 watt total output, sure. Um... Interior then, active climate front seats. Oh wait, I should have read this option. I want that option. So I need a massage function from obviously my spine. Um, cargo management system including movable bar and restraining belt. Um, sure. Memory pack plus with power seats, what does that mean? Um, exterior moves with memory feature, power folding, adjustable heated and auto dimming. That's good. Power front seats, memory features and driver's cider with seat cushion depth adjustment. Steering column with power adjustment for height and length with memory feature. Okay. Net partition and luggage compartment mat. Reversible. Luggage compartment mat, luggage net, net, fuck the hell. Versible boot floor mat with cargo management system with tire mobility kit in Leo of... Oh, okay, sure. Safety and security. Spare wheel. Full kit with jack. Okay, sure, whatever. I'm going to! And then, tire pressure monitoring system, because you can never be too safe. Uh, universal track it, traffic recorder. I don't know what that means. 
but I'll have it on the front anyway. Um, need luggage, mud flaps. Yeah, let's add the mud flaps. First world and no safety kit. Yes, I don't want a child seat. Please, but factory code, please do not be used. No price information available. So, yes. Can I have it in manual, please? Okay, I'll have to do it to this. Do this one. Go to summary. Can I get? Finance. Can I get a finance on the VW? Can I not get finance on the VW? Don't care about finance. Apparently not. So, what car? I'm going to create all. Then. What car two? Then it's going to be out of the Range Rover or the Mustang Mark E. Private only by link and create the part. So that's going to do it for this video. Thank you for coming out and joining me, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.